Hi, and welcome to the video tutorial for the Down the Rabbit Hole Shawl Part 1. You need just over 1,200 meters of yarn in three colors, A, B, and C. I used Hobby Rainbow Cotton 8 slash 4, which is a fingering yarn. This means three skeins of color A and C, two skeins of color B. All information, stitch count, and written pattern is available on my website, link in description box below. There's also links to my Etsy and Ravelry shops where you can support and show your appreciation for my work by purchasing the pattern for a small sum. The PDF also includes charts. If you think I'm going too fast, you can always pause or slow down the playing speed with the YouTube cogwheel. Enjoy this pattern and happy crocheting! We are starting row one. So color A, and we are beginning with a magic ring. So I just wrap around my finger here. And we're going to start with three chains. One, two, three, and two DCs in the magic ring. Row two, we can start by pulling the magic ring closed and chain three one two three so this is the first stitch which symbolizes a DC so we're gonna do the next DC in this stitch so a DC in the DC and a DC in the third chain from the previous row here And here we're going to do an additional DC. So two DCs in the third chain from the previous row. So you get the increase. And all increases are going to be on the same side. Row three, chain three. And this is the increase side. So a DC in the same stitch. So that we have basically two DCs because this symbolizes a DC. And then we continue making a DC in the next DC and a DC in every DC and a DC in the third chain from the previous row here. And this is one of the repeating rows, row three. Row four. So we start by chaining three and a DC in every DC make sure you don't miss any and two DC's in the third chain from the previous row here because we're on the increase side so all increases on the same side all the time from here you're gonna repeat row 3 and row 4 on top of each other all the way until you have 38 rows made. So starting row 39, after all these repeats, we're going to start by chaining three, two, three, and a DC in the same stitch for the increase. And from here, we're going to start with one chain and we're going to skip the first DC and we're going to make two DCs, one in each following DC, one in the DC there and one in the one straight afterwards here. And from here, it's basically the same repeat all through the row. So DC in DC two chains and skip two DCs. So we've made the two chains. We're going to skip the two DCs. One and two. So this is the repeat. Chain two, skip two and two DCs. And when you've done basically the whole row and we're at the end, we have four unworked stitches and we've chained two and we're going to skip 
two and finish with a DC in the DC and a DC in the third chain from the previous row. And that's row 39. Row 40. So we're going to start with a turning chain. That's one chain. And we're going to put the first single crochet in the absolute first stitch. This means in the first DC. So that's one single crochet. And a single crochet in the next DC. So in this pattern, this first chain doesn't count in the stitch count and it doesn't count um, as a stitch in, in this case here for the DC e either. So this is a single crochet in the DC and a single crochet in the DC. And from here, we're going to make a single crochet for each and every single stitch. So that's since we have two chains, we're going to make two single crochets in the chain space and then one single crochet in each DC and two in the chain space all the way to the end of the row. Coming up on the end of the row here, we had one crochet chain here. So that's why we're making one single crochet in this chain space and a single crochet in the DC. And for the increase side, we're going to make two single crochets in the third chain from the previous row here in order to get that nice increase. So that's two there. Row 41. This is almost an exact repeat of this row here, 39, but there's a little uh, twist to the start here. So chain three, do the increase, one DC in the same stitch here. And from here, we're going to do a DC in the single crochet, like so. So we have the two together and one DC in the next single crochet. And from here, we're going to go straight for the repeat. Chain two, skip two, and we're going to end up with two DCs after each other in the single crochets here. And this repeat is going to be straight on top of the repeat from row 39 here. So the same. Chain two, skip two, and DC in the single crochets, which are over the DCs from row 39. And repeat. Coming up on the end of the row, we've chained two, we're skipping two, and put a DC in the single crochet over the DC, and a DC in the last single crochet at the end. Row 42. This is a repeat of row 40, a turning chain, which is just one chain, and a single crochet in the absolute first stitch, which is the DC, and a single crochet in every stitch throughout the row. Coming up on the end of the row here, or still going with one single crochet in each and every stitch. And we're going to do the increase with two single crochets in the third chain from the previous row. Row 43, chain three, a DC in the same stitch here. And that's the increase. And from here, we're going to do one DC in every single crochet, the entire row. So just keep working those stitches. So coming up on the end of row 43, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. It's our first color change. Yay. 
So this is so exciting. And we've done our blue section here. And we're going to continue with our silver section. So I usually do my color changes like this. So I, I don't finish the last DC. I just let the hook have the two uh, loops. And I take the new yarn and pull that through so that you finish this row with the new color. And from here, I usually just with this pattern, I just tie these two ends together and we can cut the blue one off. And from there, we just continue on to the next row. So I've tied these together like this because we're going to crochet over these so we don't need to weave in the ends or put any effort in that which is fabulous because who likes weaving in ends i don't and so from here we're going to continue with row 44 so this is also a very straightforward row chain three and a dc in every dc so just basically the same as last row but here we have the DC row below so one DC in each DC coming up on the end of the row here we're gonna put two DCs in the third chain from the previous row and you might still be hooked at the no weaving in ends yeah I know genius isn't it that's the way when you design patterns and you're lazy you just find solutions <laughs> like so and from here we're gonna do another color change so we need to go back one loop here like so and we're gonna pull in the new color which is your c color so the silver is my b color the blue is my a color and this light brown is my c color since we're crocheting over these, I don't care how I tie them. I just put them together so they lie straight along the edge as we go on our edge rows. But so not there yet. But just you wait. We'll get there in time. Row 45. And we have our C color. And we're starting with one chain and single crochet in the absolute first stitch. And since this is the increase side, yes, you guessed it. We're gonna do two, two single crochets in the first one. And from here, it's one single crochet in each DC. So one single crochet in every stitch along the way. This is gonna be so cool. At the end of the row, you know it, just keep going with those single crochets and put the last single crochet in the third chain from the previous row. So pretty. Row 46. And we're gonna start with three chains to symbolize a DC and then one more to symbolize the chain space that we need. And we're gonna skip one DC because this one symbolizes the DC here and then we're going to skip the next single crochet and put a DC in this one here like so and from here the repeat's going to be chain one skip one and DC in the next one like so so we're gonna get this type of grid pattern here. So chain one, skip one, and put a DC in the next one. Chain one, skip one, put a DC in the next one. Like so, all the way. And if you wanna double check any of your stitch counts, I have a complete stitch count on my website, which is meandmyyarn.me. 
meandmyyarn.me. And here at the end, we're going to do the increase, but not with a chain in between. We just want that extra increase. So we're going to finish with two DCs in the third and no, sorry. And we're going to finish with two DCs in the last single crochet. Otherwise, we have the same repetitive pattern all the way. So you can always double check the stitch count on my website for this pattern. Row 47. Start with one chain, a single crochet in the absolute first stitch, and make one more in the same stitch. So two single crochets in the first stitch. And after here, we're making one single crochet in the DC and one in the chain space. Oops. And in the DC and in the chain space. So basically just one single crochet in each stitch all the way. So we sort of frame that grid pattern on both sides. So we've done a single crochet in the chain space here. We're going to do a single crochet in the third chain here. One, two, three. That's so we get one on top of the so-called DC here. And we also have a color change coming. So we're going to put the new color in, which is the B color, like so. And tie the ends together. Row 48. So chain three here to make a starting DC. And from here, we're going to do one DC in every single crochet. So all the way through the row, the entire row. And to finish row 48 up here, we're going to do two double crochets in the first, well, last single crochet of the previous row. So this is what it's starting to look like. And from here, you have a repeat of row 45, which is the first single crochet row here with the C color and you're going to repeat 45, 46, 47 and the row we just made here 48 and you're going to repeat this three more times so three more repeats of this so you get four grid sections. So we've now done 60 rows in total and we have these four repeats in total. From here, we're going to do row 61, start by chaining three and a DC in the first stitch for the increase. And from here, we're going to do a DC in every DC. So the whole row like this, which is a repeat of row three. The end of row 61. And DC in a DC and a DC in the third chain from the previous row. Row 62. This is a repeat of row four, which means chain three, DC in the DC, and a DC in each DC, just as we did before, but this time we're starting on the other side and not the increase side. And we're continuing down all throughout the row. And if you like charts, in the purchase version of this shawl, you also get charts for this one, which makes it easier to follow as well. And 
by buying this pattern, not only do you get a nice printable version, but you can also support me as a designer in making more fabulous free shawls for you to enjoy. DC and DC and two DCs in the third chain from the previous row to get the increase. row 63 chain three and this is a repeat of row three which we just did below here so chain three and dc in a dc the first stitch and same thing here just a dc in every oopsie every dc like this Coming up on the end of 63, row 63. And on this row, we're gonna change the color. So here, as you can see here, sometimes it's difficult to get in this one because it gets real tight. I usually, maybe you've seen it already, just go down with a hook with a pointy part first to sort of pry it open. <laughs> It's a matter of taste of how you want to do it. So here, not going through the last time and changing color to the C color again. Same as we used down below in the grid part. Wait, we're not done yet. The Down the Rabbit Hole video tutorial series continues in the next video for another section of fun crocheting. Hop on over there.